Hey guys, uh, welcome to WrestleMania. Not, well, tomorrow night is WrestleMania, but tonight is uh, my prediction episode video thing. Of course, I'm right now on a hiatus, and it's probably kind of hard to realize that, oh, look, he's doing this. Well, the Usos, Jimmy and Jay, defending their tag team ch championships. Against Los Matadores, the Real Americans, and Rod Baxel. Well, it's really, it's really simple. I mean, of course, the Usos have to retain. Los Matadores is the young team, and plus, they're not that good. They're not championship material. Uh, Real Americans, they're doomed to break up very soon. Uh, Rod Baxel. Yeah, same, same as Los Matadors. They're uh, they're they're better single competitors than tag team competitors. But they're still really good competitors, and that's all I can say. It's it's a good pre-show match, and I heard about the like four hours. This is gonna be four hours, but the pre-show is two, and one hour is gonna be on the internet. And the other one's gonna be on the network, and I think that's bullcrap. One thing, WWE, because <laughs> the second hour might be like half the match, and we want to know who won. I'll be lucky enough if I can get it on the internet, and it'll be on the internet and on the pre-show. But the pre-show will be on the internet tomorrow night, but I don't know. Um, but anyway, the second match. Um, I'm just gonna do it the order I see right now. Um. I'm on Wikipedia, so next order of uh, Randy Orton defending the WWE World Heavyweight Championship against Batista and the team and to the be determined participants. Be determined participants. I say because I'm not gonna go into the other match just because I'm just gonna say it. like if Daniel Bryan were to win, I would pick Daniel Bryan. If Triple H were to win, I'd pick a, I'd pick a Randy Orton to retain. Because they're, they have to push, this has to be a great night or else they're going to be out of business. Because it's the 30th anniversary and they have a lot of great matches. But, uh, I mean, if, Daniel Bryan loses, um, there's gonna be a riot in New Orleans, everyone loves him, I kinda like him, I, I mean, I don't go crazy, but I like him a little bit, and I know the fans, they want Daniel Bryan to win, and be the main attraction at Wrestlemania, you know, make him win those two matches, and I'm picking him for that, but... I predict that they're gonna screw him over and make this really bad for everyone. Cause this is not best for business. This is best for. I can't say that word because my mom might give me trouble. <laughs> best for bowl. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the next match is of course Daniel Bryan and Triple H. I said Daniel Bryan, ha yeah, before, and uh, the Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar. Now this one. Brock, they're doing the same thing with the Big Show, and I hope they're not. If they're doing the same thing with the Big Show that they did, that are doing to the Undertaker right now, if they did the same thing to the Big Show, then if the Brock Lesnar ends up winning, I'm gonna literally end watch. I'm gonna stop watching this because I know they're making it seem it's so powerful of how they're making sure the streak would end. I mean, I I watched uh, WrestleMania 28 live and when they did End of an Era, and it was extreme. And that's the time I thought the streak would end. WrestleMania 29, I didn't get that much of a... Well, I, didn't, I don't even know if I watched it, but... Um, this one is WrestleMania 30. And he's... And the... It's just scary because I don't want the streak to end. I mean the streak is kind of like the only thing that holds this company now. N like 
if they if they're gonna end the streak and screw Daniel Bryan, then the WWE might as well freaking end the whole thing. It's just stupid. If they're but it looks like Brock Lesnar might end the streak and I don't want that to happen and I hope I'm hoping I don't jinx myself. And I hope this is the main event, by the way, because then it would just give me butterflies. It's been giving me butterflies all week. But anyway, next match, uh, John Cena versus Bray Wyatt. Now, I, I've been paying attention to this match, too, and I've been deciding that uh, my Steven character on EWD would face Bray Wyatt, since Bray Wyatt debuted at Over the Limit. I have a clip from that, but I won't be able to get it because it's on my old computer. Uh, but it's very good. It's been very good, and I was expecting this match for a long time, ever since like Bray did. Whoops. <laughs> ever since uh, Bray debuted a while back, um, he was talking about the superheroes and tucking your kids' bed. In, like it was a while back, probably in like uh, October. Or November before, uh, before Daniel Bryan Punk, or or and after uh, somewhere in between uh after Kane and before uh CM Punk and Daniel Bryan. Somewhere in between there, uh, he was talking about a John Cena ish type of people like the superheroes and not being afraid and stuff like that so I was expecting this match to happen and I'm very happy about it because it's very good but and this is one match I can't pick about there's every time I make predictions there's always at least one match I can't make a prediction about and this would be one of them but I'm just gonna have to go for um John Cena because I love him he he's the one I go crazy for he's he is passionate and these two guys in the match I love them to death they're both really good competitors John Cena my favorite guy Bray Wyatt extremely great competitor because that's a Royal Rumble I saw him and he was very very great at wrestling but anyway next match uh, we got the Shield Dean Ambrose Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns versus Kane and the New Age sellout oh whoops forgot it New Age Outlaws. Sorry about that. Uh, Shield. No doubt about it. There's e it's either the Shield's gonna break up that night or it's just it's just doomed to happen. Shield has to win again because and plus all these rivalries at least have one match like have a big thing riding up on it. Except the Andre, my next two matches and the pre-show. Everything else has a good back line, storyline thing. But, anyway, next one, uh, 27 participants already announced. I'll say them right now. Uh, Alberto Real, Big E Langston. I, I don't care about that. Uh, Big Show, Brad Maddox, Brodus Clay, Christian, Cody Rhodes, Damian Sando, Darren Young, Dolph Ziggler, Fondongo. Drew McIntyre, Goldust, The Great Khali, Heath Slater, Jinder Mahal, Justin Gabriel, Kofi Kingston, Mark Henry, The Miz, Rey Mysterio, Sheamus, R-Truth, Santino Morella, Sin Cara, Titus O'Neil, and Zack Ryder, and three more to be announced this Sunday. Uh, we're going to talk about first who I think is going to be in it. Uh, there's three people, Rob Van Dam is rumored uh, a couple of people rumored and uh, who I want uh, Rob Van Dam, The Godfather, Chris Jericho, CM Punk those are like for the main people that are rumored and three of them is what I want in there and uh, I it out of the announced participants I would say Big Show is going to win because he's most resembled of Andre the Giant, but of course, um, they're probably going to take him out first, and I would say, it's just, the winner of this match is going to be the spotlight person for the next 
year. But, um, uh, up next, uh, the Vicky Guerrero Divas Invitational match, single fall, really confusing bout, but the participants are every diva except Orlean Garcia, no, I, I'll just announce them, AJ Lee, Oksana, Alicia Fox, Brie Bella, Cameron, Emma, Eva Marie, Layla, Naomi, Natalia, Nikki Bella, Rosa Mendes, Summer Rand team, Tamina, not team. Whoops. <laughs> of course, it's going to be hard for AJ Lee to retain. I think it's either going to be Na Naomi, AJ, or one of the Bellas. No one else, because I don't think uh, the other Divas are good enough for it. Uh, oh, or Natalia. Natalia's another chance. And Layla's just... Layla's getting attacked by the company. She 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 doesn't have anything anymore, basically. But anyway, um, I just hope that they do what's right and just do what the people want instead of pissing them off every year. Like last year, there's just it was bad last year. I I had like almost all of them wrong. I think I did. No, I didn't. Uh, but, and, it's just, some, t like, if they make, if they turn this out, like, ending up to be, like, TLC each year, like, TLC each year is just a, ter a terrible event, and if that happens, if they make it seem more like a TLC pay-per-view event where they make all the wrong people win, like, having the Usos lose their championship, or having... Triple H win everything, or having Brock Lesnar win, or having the Outlaws win and the Shield break up, or having freaking Vicky Guerrero come in at some rent, or seeing Summer Rae win or something like that. I don't know. I just really need people really need this to be a good event. If it's gonna be a terrible 30th anniversary, I think people just need to if they ruin this. I think they just sabotage their own pay-per-view event, and they're just gonna give up, so. If this event goes really bad, uh, it's the end of WWE forever, I guess. But also, one thing I forgot to talk about, the arena. I saw, I just saw the video a couple of minutes ago, um, it's very good. I think it's very good. Um... It's a mixture of uh, WrestleMania 27 and 28. 28-ish, but mostly 27 because of the big uh, X. I will leave the video in the description below so you can uh, see what I'm talking about. But, like, behind the X's, basically behind the, the WrestleMania logo, um, is WrestleMania 28 right there. And... Uh, WrestleMania 27 is the three X's. So, anyway, I've been talking so long, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this ep- Well, not episode. Have enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys have- I hope you guys enjoy, uh, WrestleMania 30. And I hope they do the right thing. I hope they watch this video, which is like a 0% chance, and they- all off of me and they just do the right thing jeez they need to do the right thing okay i'll see you guys later hopefully you guys enjoyed